see what we're actually looking at. this around <laughs> what we're actually we can, doing. We can, we can zoom this up. We can uh, zoom that out and then there yeah, we go. Just walk around with we'll we'll right the cable. Yeah. Here, why don't we move those chairs out of the way? Anyways, um, oh. this is all about the sub block. Here's going to be a tour of the wall. Now. We will no, get a no. tour of the wall. So the initial uh, piece that I wanted to make on the original four tiles are no. this right. one, yep. this one Taking with the like sump gate ages. on it, this one, oh, go back to the sump gate. I want to show the sump gate. This, this right here is the sump gate. Welcome, you guys. Thanks for joining me. Today, uh, I wanted to, well, all right, to be honest, um, I am behind on my paint job for the wall. Uh, I was hoping to have a wall paint job done for you, but instead we're going to do this compilation video that I've got planned here. So, you know, I hope you enjoy it. This is going to be all 16 videos of the sump wall just mashed into one little thing. That actually, um, but it's... Uh, okay, right. Oh yeah, and for everybody that doesn't know, oh yeah, those the, the uh, elevators. All no, the I'm elevators fine. work. Yeah, so you can actually oh, attach um, them. Here's literally. See, this let me one try goes. Yeah, that one goes somewhere else. Oh, there that go. one goes over there. So, still, it still works in. Yeah, right. Little thing. It's <laughs> 16 videos. Actually, it's closer to 18 videos because I threw the live stream in on this too. You know, uh, this is what started it all for us. Um, I kind of think back, uh, it was two years ago we were doing this kind of stuff. Yeah, I didn't even have a microphone. I was doing all this on my phone for the most part. I didn't understand lighting or any of that junk. Um, yeah, this is the build and paint of the Sump City Radio Return, uh, including the barge and the cargo eight ridge hauler that they've been zooming around in the ash waste for i was hoping they were going to come back to actual some city at that point and then the antheranthian succession started uh wholesale and now we're in secundus so it's all kind of crazy but uh yeah these are photos and pictures this is this is kind of where it all started for me for sure um yeah really nostalgic Oh, oh yeah, like, good. Here, stick oh, that one that over one there, though. Yeah. Like, oh, my God. That way. Right oh, my God. Right there. So. Anyway, sorry for shaky camera and, <laughs> and all that other stuff. So, yeah, anyways, we got this one over here. Or the second one. Yeah, there it is. Um, yeah, it's got a little dude being made into goo up top there. Uh, this was what I was considering the Escher tile. That's why we have all this hopping around, because that's what Eschers do. <laughs> hop around. Right away. Then we've got the little warming little right. slag furnaces here or some things. Then we go over here, we've well, got another overhaul welding kit. Yeah. Paraprometheum ah. generator. Yeah, Aha! Bring the camera up a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Bring the camera up a little bit. Prometheum yep, generators. Yeah, Prometheum yeah. generators. And we got a little okay. thing full of goo yeah, here. Like <laughs> and then we're up top. So now those were the four original, well, actually eight original tiles that I made Wait, I um, I last call. year. Oh, so this year, You're and I wanted to make more, um, this year I decided, okay. God, I remember when we did that. Oh, yeah, here. One of my first times actually on camera. Look at that bald head. It's even balder now. But uh, when we did that live stream, <laughs> that was something else. <laughs> Just like normal stuff with us, uh, you know, it was like, well, hey, what are we going to do? Hey, let's do a live stream. We'll set all this stuff up. Um, yeah, pictures, uh, you know, of the build during, for, you know, a, a lot of those videos and that style that I was doing was simply because, you know, I, at that point in time, I was just really happy that I got, you know, the, uh, the footage to my computer at that point, so I was just ship and send. 
Little did I know that when I actually got cameras uh, that I was going to have to worry about so much more. These phones, oh my goodness, such a great medium to take video with. They're so, so good. But yeah, at this point, I still hadn't gotten even a microphone or a regular camera. Yeah, this was this was all just the phone still. Um, yeah, there's the there's the bare bones, the whole idea. <laughs> this was a crane operator. Now this does move. And then as we go up, we actually have areas up here where there's storage. We got a big old gunk tank over here. How's that look, Jay? Good. Yeah? Yeah. Pretty good. Thanks. Okay. okay. So then over on this side, we got a little gunk spewer, spewer here. Then some of the new okay, promethium tank. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. Um, Hold on. Just coming off. Um, if you guys have been following the builds, you pretty much know <laughs> how I built all this stuff. Um, so then, after we do that, we're going to go to the actual Sump City Radio Shack tiles. Um, and I decided to use uh, the Ash Wastes uh, container and a whole bunch of steps. But the idea here is that they dock in over here and go up the steps. Hey, actually, wait a minute. Hold on. You got a guy? <laughs> there he is. Steve? <laughs> I'm done. That's you, buddy. <laughs> At least over here in Wisconsin. <laughs> so, yeah. And we got... I knew we were going to be doing this. Is this the... Uh, what is this that's over here? Their, that's where they're sleeping. That's, that's, where they're that's sleeping the whole sleeping area okay. right there. Yeah. And they've got... If you look in there, there's some coffee and some vending machines. <laughs> oh. Yeah. And the guns are over on the other side. They got a nice storm bolter going out the side there. So then we have the tower. And then inside, uh, is that we've got with the wound? Chris and Steve spot. No, well and she's over here. Engaged. And then you can go seriously out injured if you want to, or you can go. Wait, seriously injured as well. I'm yep. sorry. Yes. This, this, go this up and right. down this elevator here, and then you gotta uh, climb. Oh, well, wait. She got a wound, right? There we go. go to the top. She's not serious. I like. I like the use of yeah, the yeah, fan. So You've always got to have um, giant fans no, in sci-fi somewhere, or it's not sci-fi. Oh, yeah. And there's nothing <laughs> like computer fans, oh, right, <laughs> to God. make that work. Um, She's out. Yeah, it doesn't move. That's anymore. okay. That's it's okay. All right. So, anyways, up here we're gonna actually have. Under Hiver, this is this is my guy for you. Um, yeah, he's gonna be picked up by the crane here. Oh yeah, that's right. go up now, up top here. Oh, that's right. And I don't have anybody for Natomi yet, but this is uh, the Hive Atmospherics. Is right up in here. Solar area right yep, here. Yep. All right in there. They've got a radar dish to, right, to get the whatever information you need. <laughs> Then we got another gunk tank all the way back here. We got a little gunk tank. You can still fight with wounds. And we're working all the way down here. And all right. She doesn't have to. Okay. Yep. And now we go up. This was when I was really kind of just letting it flow. Um, it was kind of interesting because I actually wanted to put even more details on this, but at that point I was trying to figure out how to actually <laughs> give all of you uh, who were with us at the time frame and, and now um, just footage you could watch. Um, actually, it's been kind of nostalgic going through all of this because I've been finding photos of, you know, when we were or when, when I was launching the idea in the first place and how big it went on uh, uh, Facebook. Um, yeah, there's Natomi's uh, atmospheric station. And uh, it was kind of an interesting thing jumping around on this. I haven't worked with the 
uh, the wall sections in a while. Um, I forgot about the pins. <laughs> I should probably use those on the wall section that I'm using right now, but uh, it's a little too late. But yeah, we're gonna be just adding stuff. Uh, this was this project right here was when I realized that uh, yeah, that hot glue, yeah, that that to, by itself it just doesn't cut it. Um, yeah, the crane started working with magnets on terrain, some 3D printed stuff and just just running through the bits box um <laughs> this was a lot of fun i gotta say uh, but yeah the, the sump wall settlement which i am gonna do a a video like this on that as well uh, i don't know if it's gonna be quite as long as this one because that one's not quite as many videos uh they're a little more in depth though um but yeah, I, I just, this was so much fun doing this. I just, I, I can't tell you guys, it was just falling in as I was having ideas and then finding stuff and, you know, you just, it looks like I'm just slapping stuff up. And for the most part, you know, by the time it was time to shoot the video, yeah. Um, but, you know, there, there was an awful lot of time searching for the right pieces to get the look that I wanted, making sure we had stairs, you know, all, all the things you needed because, you know, that was, that was one of the big deals with this one. You know, I, I actually wanted people to play on it, you know, and, and play on it without too much, you know, impediments. Um, ah, I digress. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, I gonna let you guys watch for a little bit longer here and uh, I'll come back a little later Little bit of shaky footage right there but yeah we're we're just walking up here and uh there was two stages of the builds on this there was this base build here uh where i was just you know setting the pieces and then we set it over on the side here i'd take them apart so i could add more details and do the gubbins and you know walkways and you know just decorate it up make it look like you know, it, it's a place. It's a thing. <laughs> uh, doubly sped up walkthrough for you guys. Uh, <laughs> one of the other things that I did with this uh, for the first time was I actually lit the dumb thing. Uh, I only lit the bottom tiles because those were going to stay stationary. They were going to be the same all the time. You can take any of the other tiles and put them above if you want on any one of my other tiles um i know in the live stream we actually built it three high uh we can build it four high if we wanted to um there's a little bit of a falling hazard with that or tipping over but yeah these were supposed to be the whole concept of this was to put them against the wall anyways um so when the big gaming group that I'm with, Jay and I are with, uh, get together, we can have Necromunda going on on a table without, you know, and then another table will be used for another game. Uh, our, our big games are kind of con function now anyways. So, but yeah, we just dubbing it up and, you know, a lot of sprueing. This is even more sped up than it was in the original video. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, a lot of fun.
Okay, here we go, sump. Uh, for those of you who have not watched any of my videos where I make my sump, um, it starts with a layer of uh, unthinned Mod Podge and then tissue paper. And after that, uh, we let that set for you know a couple of minutes. And then, and yeah, it, it's best to cut them up. You try to not have uh, straight lines when you're when you're ripping up the the stuff, but uh, you know it happens. So then you just overlap. But then after we're done here uh, and me getting all that stuff in there, yeah. oh. good look at the the uh, the sump barge. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, after after you let her. Just, just set up pretty quick. You go over it with uh, another coat of uh, Mod Podge and then let dry overnight. Any of the other textures that you want to add at that point uh, can be done afterwards. But yeah, here's a walkthrough here of uh, what that all looked like. Just like I said, it was so much fun doing this. But yeah, once I got this part done, there was, well, let me see here. Right, Jay had been launching some videos, but yeah, I. there was a little bit of time here where I launched most of these videos in like a week, week and a half, because I was just so excited. I was punching them out. Everything was so ridiculously fun. And yeah, now comes the other texture. <laughs> Just my buddy's gorilla running around on the sump. <laughs> oh, we have so much fun playing this stuff. But yeah, um, uh, in, in future builds, uh, I uh, probably am not going to do this step with the wall all together like this. Now, I make for good video, but yeah, those two things kind of the top and the bottom kind of stuck together a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's where, okay, and here we go. We've got the Sump City Radio crew. Yeah, like I said, you can check it out. There's a whole video on this too. Um, but yeah, and there it is on the barge there. Pretty exciting stuff. All right. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, so anyways, then that keeps on the we road. get to the road Four. show. All right. Oops. Uh, I went last, so you get that. Oh, I got those guys there? Yep. So there's the road show on the barge. Yep. So cool. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Just you guys up. have your, your uh, the radar dishes here. Um, we can actually, if we want to, we can put you... Um, Put you inside. Under Hiver's a little big. But put you on the inside. And you're on in there. Um, wow, I just had an idea, Jay. Oh, we had a. Uh, oh, somebody, somebody said. Somebody said. Yeah, he says a uh, very cool, uh, very cool wall. Thanks for all the whip uh, work in progress videos. Oh, cool. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you do me a favor? Yeah. Or Mike, yeah. can you do me a favor? Yeah. Over in one of the totes, there's a cardboard box with one of my LED things I just made. Can you bring one over here? Is there a side? Uh, over on the rollers yeah, over there. Oh, that doesn't matter. My cardboard box? It's in a cardboard box in one of the totes. Uh, yeah, yeah so anyways, right. yeah, we're going to do oh, some mod. Oh, my God, we're going to yeah. do some live modeling. Be oh, awesome. my gosh. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. go. You want me to? You're gonna hold the camera. Hold the camera. Yeah. So now we're on to the painting, and to be perfectly honest, you guys, um, this was a daunting thing just looking at it, and then I started. Uh, <laughs> the uh, the the highlight that I'm doing here, the zenithal. Um, yeah, looking back on it, probably not necessary. I think I skipped it on uh, some of the the uh, other tiles that I had uh, later on. Uh, 
abject moving of the camera around here. But, uh, you know, and, and what you're trying to do here um, that I was finding out, you know, this was really the first time that I had ever done anything this big. And one of the things that you found out was that though, wherever you pop that white, um, that was a highlight. Uh, this, this was also the first real project where I was just really thinning the paints and using the airbrush. Uh, it, it's it's, it's kind of crazy uh, now that I think back on it. <laughs> this was also the first one that I used oil paints on things like that. But, and, and, you know, inks in concession. Um, you know, I was mixing this on the fly, so we'd mix dark. And just straight ink. And, uh, oh, that old air gun. Oh, man, I still have that thing. <laughs> it still works. It's pretty cool. But, yeah, I'd, I'd mix dark and then go, you know, add a drop of ink and you know, a drop of white ink to go a little lighter, spit her up and just spit her out on the ta on the tiles there. Um, you know, this was also one of the first projects where I decided to uh, copy uh, Rapid Tabletop, Leonard Dime, one of my favorite YouTube guys, um, and just use uh, transparent colors over the metallics. Going into the browns here, my standard brown for my high uh, my Primus uh, tile uh, zone mortalis look. It's really interesting because um, I always question this footage whether I was too far away for you guys to see what was going on. And you can't see the particulars. But one of the things you can see is just how immense this stupid thing is. <laughs> and I had already had four tiles. Uh, made, you know, these were the, these were the, uh, the the corners on either side. Um, yeah, at this point, I was trying to figure out what, because I had just gotten a tripod for the phone, uh, so I didn't have it leaning up on some books or anything like I did on the other one, so I, uh, I felt very superior with myself because I could actually move the way that it's supposed to look. Man, there were a lot of firsts on this project. This was quite a first, uh, you know, 12 weeks or whatever it took me to actually, you know, do this thing from start to finish. Um, yeah, we're, yeah, here we go. Uh, no camera yet. This is with the phone. This was the first time that I had the phone in a situation where you could actually see what I was doing um, from a, a much closer perspective. Uh, I was afraid I was going to spray the phone with the, all the paint. <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, that was the, the big question was, do I go with the purple or do I go with the green? And uh, the uh, I went with both in the end. It's kind of Joker colors. I was I was kind of kind of pretty happy with myself at that point. Um, still am too. This this piece rocks. I haven't pulled it out in a second, uh, but we're going to bring it to Old Guard Games at some point here because uh, yeah, that place, oh my God, we have so many people showing up every week now. It's it's pretty, <laughs> pretty intense, <laughs> totally surprising. And if any of them have stayed along with this video as long as it's been so far, thank all of you because you guys are just adding fuel to the fire that I, is me and making stuff and making videos. Um, yeah, they, <laughs> it's 
an exciting place there on Thursday nights at uh, Old Guard Games Milwaukee. If you're ever in the area and you want to get a Necromunda game in, show up Thursday night, 6 p.m. There'll be a ton of really great, awesome people there to play. And uh, you know what? I think maybe during Christmas I might bring the wall. Uh Uh-oh. Well, you guys have to watch the video all this way to hold me to that, so... Yeah, all right. I was a little bit off, but now <laughs> we have oil paint. We have the camera. We have a microphone. Uh, we have direct computer access to all of this stuff, <laughs> all in one area of video. Um, I was uh, more than a bit overwhelmed, to be honest. I had never used oils on anything this big before. And yeah, that was something. You know, talk about just closing your eyes and jumping off the cliff. You know, I was doing this stuff right here and I was like, man, I hope that stuff all comes off. <laughs> uh, and look, it did, but it was amazing. This was when I still didn't know how to turn the autofocus off the camera. Was when we were doing this. I wasn't understanding how lighting worked. And that was when I started watching some videos at night, figuring out different ways to use oil paints. And just really starting. Um, you know, I probably should have been watching <laughs> videos on how to use a camera a little better. But, you know, they're going to come later. That's fine. I was having so much fun building this. It was just crazy. Just the availability to be able to put that gunk wherever you wanted to. And then, you know, at the time frame, I was babysitting kids at the same time. And, you know, they needed their uh, their attention, you know, usually right when you're in the middle of doing this. And if you were using acrylics, well, you know, you're kind of... You had to remix everything and, and all that stuff. But with oils, you know, you could walk away from it for an hour or two and come back and she was still ready to go. But yeah, here we are, we're painting the barge. This was a lot of fun. It was another new technique I had just pretty much learned. And yeah, changing brushes halfway through. Just, you know, playing it out for you guys in front of the camera. That's kind of how most of my videos have all been. Um, you know, I I, I uh, feel, you know, like, you know, I if I were to do all that other stuff and spend all that time uh, doing the prep and things like that. Now, that's not to say that prepping and all that other stuff isn't good. It is good, um, but it depends on who's prepping it. Um, I am old, so, you know, <laughs> a lot of time wasted when you're feeling like doing this stuff, you know, figuring out lighting and everything. It seems, you know, my patience level isn't there anymore. And, you know, I know how to do all this stuff. And the way I looked at it was, you know, you guys, oh, you know, it, it's going to come because I'm not stopping. And, you know, this was ash wasting up uh this was this was another first for me i was attempting to try to take two uh concepts and put it into one one piece 
Um, because yeah, I wanted the road show to look like it had just rolled in out from outside, fell down onto this barge, and they just drove him to the sump. Now this is I got the second camera at this point, so we <laughs> we of course need to play with split screen. Um, yeah, you know it's fun. I liked all this. Uh, this is the seventh sump painting. Uh, sump wall painting video um still one of our better videos uh as far as viewership's concerned um this is you know now that i'm looking at it on the editing table I'll, with a bit more uh wisdom and uh hours under my belt editing this is this is kind of while it might be a little bit uh discerning footage uh i think it's still pretty cool i thought it was cool at the time frame because you know, you could you could basically see, you know, two different angles of exactly what I was doing at the same time. Um, you know, I probably could have packaged it a little differently, but, you know, whatever. Hindsight's twenty twenty. Like I said, my concept at that point was that, hey, you know, we're going to make another video next week. So, you know, I'll get better at something else, you know, and the painting just continues to get better, uh, which is kind of crazy uh yeah i just leaps and bounds and I, I think what's more uh surprising to me at least is you know all, all this stuff's going on and i just want to keep learning i want to learn more and more and more and more and just use different techniques you know and then use them to the best of my abilities and you know probably not do very well the first couple of times and then start getting better um you know even bad techniques you can use in these if you you know if you if you know you know have a clue at how to do it but of course the first part of that is actually doing it um I probably should have glued all these things in first and then painted. There would have been a heck of a lot less painting, but I was under the misconception that, you know, the paint on the back side was just as important as the paint on the front. No, totally not. Um, you know, this also, I, I did my first undershadowing uh, at the end too, which I'm not sure made the video, but uh, yeah, look at what this looks like now. It's pretty pretty mind-bending to be honest and not too bad of footage considering I'm roaring it up on my tripod <laughs> which is cool but you know that's that you should do this to it oh you gotta watch out for the cable All right. okay so there's all sorts of Oh, that was, that was okay, so there's all sorts of this uh, glowing paint. Paint. <laughs> yeah, what did you use for this? Tell uh, me. About so it. the uh, well, uh, okay. So any of the posters or anything, I used glow in the dark Mod Podge. So if you're picking up this, this is actually my oil paint um, lighting effects that I did. Um, that's not glow in the dark. This is. Um, can you point that out again? What is this that? This one? Heretic? Yeah, what is that? So that is, I used a ivory paint, um, just a flesh tone color, down first, and then I went over it with the, um, uh, some glow-in-the-dark paint. Um, oh, the Golden Series. Okay. Um, that uh, are, are really nice. Um, so any of this down here, this is all glow-in-the-dark Mod Podge that I went over with again and like i said i went through them all if if uh anybody bothered watching the videos um you watch me do it <laughs> it was <laughs> all over the place um i really like the fact that this light is oh yeah by the way this comes right out so we can pull that out the top comes off for easy yep. access inside it does and then we have a light on the inside and um, there's no bottom on this one because otherwise it wouldn't fit in the crooked truck that I made. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> did you say you had a problem like assembling? That oh thing? my god, it was horrible. I don't know my left from my right, which is half <laughs> of the half of the half problem. The problem. Yeah. Yeah. 
or half the solution. I don't know. I, uh, Chris. Chris and Steve, they're all purple. Yeah, and this lighting, everything is the same. <laughs> Everybody's except the, purple except in Except for the lighting, special paint, yeah. Which is really cool. Um, it's not, it doesn't want to focus very well there, so. Well, yeah, that's not surprising. It's got to have a point. Right. It actually is not too bad on this glow in the dark paint. I am in. really surprised. Well, I think to it looks honest. great in the, in the although, although I think I actually need the third one of these. And I have another one. Another, another one. Yeah, actually, I have two of them. But, um,. Yeah, we'll need another one if we want it to actually play in here. Um, yeah, so anyways, um, yeah, these, this little setup I did with the, uh, the uh, LEDs I just did last night, actually, to add. This is, on a, this is on a little piece of Velcro, and then all you have to do is take that out, and the light stores itself. And then when you want to use it, just pull it out. It's nice because these are polarized, so if you put it in backwards, it doesn't actually work, which no. means you can store it on <laughs> the whole thing oh, that's without cool. anything melting, yeah, it's very cool. um, which is very, very neat um, and totally helps for scatter, but then, yeah, this just sticks on there. Totally works out good. Wasn't really planning on talking about that today, but hey, whatever, <laughs> we're doing it. You know, it's happening. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So the last thing I wanted to do was uh, I'll get the lights back on and then we'll. So thank you guys for all of you that sat through all of this. Um, yeah, this is uh, between 16 and 18 of my first videos that I put together uh, as a compilation. This was all done for Sump City Radio and all of the wonderful things that uh, just listening to that podcast have uh, just, you know, scratched the itch for me. Um, there's going to be plenty more. I love the fact that you guys seem to be enjoying our videos. I am more than excited uh, for the future. We have a lot of plans going on for this next year. Well, for the rest of this year still and for next year. Um, I figured I'd end this with some slow shots for you. Uh, just, you know, get a good, clean look at what this wall looks like up close and from a distance. And we'll end it with the header shot. Thanks so much for joining me, you guys. And if you stuck around this long, thanks again. And please like and subscribe.